Hey, welcome back. It's been a little bit of time, but it is another day, which means it's another review. Guff here. In today's review, we will be reviewing the Constructicon Scrap Metal from the studio series Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. So here he is, and here we go. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Let's move him out of the way real quick, and first things first off of the checklist is going to be the packaging. On the front here we do have, well, it's a Studio Series number 31, Scrap Metal. Here's a Constructicon from the Decepticons. We do have the age for 8 and up. We do have Hasbro and then Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Transformers Generations. Takara Tommy, and then we do have the picture of Scrap Metal looking all scrappy. On the top here we do have the little hanger. We do have the little window in the very top to look into from the top, I guess. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. On the side here we do have a big old picture of Devastator, which they all combine into, and then we do have a logo of Devastator's head as well and then we do have where it says authentic transformers on the other side we do have another picture of scrap metal looking old scrappy on the side of here again and then it does say it is a deluxe class studio series number 31 on the back here we do have the regular, not for three and under, it is a choking hazard, so don't let kids underneath three get a hold of them. And then we do have, it does say, big screen inspired. It does have the products uh, pictures of both modes. It does say, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen again, Constructicon Scrap Metal. And then it does say, Pyramid Desert Battle in different languages as well. And then on the bottom here we just have the barcode and words and so forth so on and hey, well, that's it for the packaging. Let's go on ahead and move that out of the way and let's go on ahead and get to the review. So here we have him in his vehicle mode or alt mode, whatever you wanna call it. It does go pretty good across where it's supposed to. It does have wheels here, here, and right there, as you can see. With the details, it is very well detailed. We do have the little, I guess you can say like railing here, back part. To dig with and then we do have the treads right here that is painted in black but then uh, have silver right there we do have the cab of the vehicle here and that is done up in black and like a sky blue teal color right there as well you do have the little pin right there that goes all the way through the digging mechanism is on not one not two but three separate hinge joints there's one there there and one right there so you got all that movement right there and then Let's uh, see on the front here. It is done up in black here. It's mostly made up in yellow. You do have a little bit of black right here. Right here. And the threads and you know where the spots are for the shocks and stuff. Not shocks, but um can't think of what it's called now. But other than that, let's see how he does in size comparisons. 
Here he goes with Skipjack. So as you can see, Skipjack, which is the bulldozer, which is the recolor of Rampage, I would pretty much say in real life, this would be much bigger than a bulldozer. But, he is not even... There we go. And then Skipjack is a Voyager class, where Scrap Metal is just a Deluxe class. So here he goes next to the other Deluxe class. High Tower. So as you can see, the Treads are basically almost the same length, just high tower is a little bit longer there. But technically speaking, they both have the same height basically, just scrap metal is just a tiny bit taller, but it's smaller in other areas. And then here he goes with another Voyager class, which is Scrapper. As you can see, quite a big difference, as you can see. And how big they really is. Like I said, same thing with Skipjack. He would be much bigger than him, I would say. So, we'll move Scrapper out of the way along with High Tower. Here he goes with the Voyager class, Mix Master. And then here he goes next to the leader class, Scavenger. Much bigger and wider and longer. And then here he goes next to Overlord, which is another leader class. As you can see, you can easily fit right on top. So, let's go on ahead and move all these big fellas out of the way. So that way we can get down to the transformation, shall we? So, to start off, we will go ahead and take this back panel off right here. With mine, it is a little bit tricky to get off, but came off just fine. That's going to end up being like a arm panel for his, I believe, left arm it was. So, it's going to connect to the hole with this peg right here. So we're going to move that to right there. We're going to go ahead, bring him up like this. This part is going to come right on out. And rotate and come on up like so. And then you're going to straighten it out just like that. Same thing with this hand. Now, well, the cab is actually pegged into a hole. So what we're going to have to do is on peg it like so as you can see right there is gonna peg in right there but we're just gonna go ahead and rotate it and bring it up and rotate this hand 
there we go and then what you're gonna do bring this all the way down and fold it up like so next thing you're gonna wanna unhinge the legs as you can see there's a peg here that is gonna actually peg in right there as you can see and then there's another peg right there that's gonna peg into the thigh right there let me pop it back on there as you can see gonna peg in right there to right up there but what we're gonna do is go on ahead and unpeg both don't know why these legs keep popping off and then you're gonna bring these down but you're gonna rotate the thighs like so and then open up the toes like so and as you see with the leg it just done it basically by itself you're gonna it's on like a little swivel hinge right there you're gonna bring this part back and up so that way it's gonna be looking just like that and then this little section we'll bring up here in a sec but we need to open up the chest cavity where the head is bring and turn the head around pull it out and then pop it back into place you'll hear a click and there we go we got the head out bring the waist up as you can see there's two pegs one right there one right there they're gonna peg in to right right on up in there right next to this third wheel but right above it and you should hear a click too there we go and then the shoulders are gonna actually peg in as you can see the peg is actually right here gonna peg in right there but they're also pegged in as well so when you have him in vehicle mode there's the peg there's the hole for it these are slide in they don't pop into place or nothing there's a slide in then the next step is to bring his arm down like so but bring it up at the shoulder same thing with this side bring it down well out but bring it up rotate now his hands will be easy to get out this one's a little bit trickier but there we go rotate rotate this is the trickier part getting the actual inside part to come out there's a little knob or something right there where you can kind of put your fingernail right on to make it pop out like so same thing with this one there we go and last but not least getting this to go right here like I said there's gonna be a hole right there for the peg to go in and there we go we have him fully transformed now oops there we go now with him he does have really good posability kind of where you can move him all around hmm. 
let's go on ahead and take a look his head does only go back that far as you can see but you can have him look down his chin will touch his chest but that's about it it can turn 360 it can due to this little spot here come all the way down his arms full 180 up and down that far no waist no wrist joint his hands can go like that up and wide this one can do just as right as well. It is able to turn around like that with his elbow. His thighs to have the whole 160 or whatever the 180 again. You can have his toes come to a point or whatever. There we go. He is mostly done up in the yellow and black. Minus the little bit of gray and all that. A little bit of silver which is visible. It's more like a gunmetal gray if anything. You can have his little arm digger thingy be like a tail as well it's your toy you can have it whichever way you want but like I said he can pose quite well oops as you can see let's see how he does in size comparison to the other, shall we? Uh oh. So here he goes next to, let me back him up a little bit, next to Scavenger here. So, don't know why I cannot really get him to. Do like I want him to. Silly old thing. We'll just, for the time being, there we go. Next to the Lido class scavenger here. Here he goes next to the Voyager class mix master. So let's kind of move him a little bit. Okay. There we go. Next to Mix Master here. As you can see, they're pretty close to the same height head wise, but shoulder wise and all that. Mix Master here is a little bit taller due to the shoulders and a lot more wider as you can see and a little bit more floppy so here he goes next to high tower as well let me move him back real quick so here he goes right there as you can see he is also a deluxe figure as well so we'll move him back and here he goes next to Skipjack which is the Voyager class as you can see there is Skipjack the recall of Rampage. I don't know where the little stand went for him, but as you can see, the 
size difference in these two. Here's the Virgil, here's the Deluxe. So for the time being I'll just do like this and bring him back here like so. And then here he goes since our scrap metal is always scrapping. Why not have him be next to Scrapper real quick? So there we go with the other Voyager class. Scrapper with scrap metal. Both done up in yellow, black, silver, and the same light blue teal color. And then last but not least, we will go ahead and compare him next to Overlord. So here he is next to the big man himself, which is another leader class. And as you can see, quite the size difference as well. If I can get him to stand up good enough, I guess. Don't know why Overlord is giving me problems. But there we go. I'm only missing one out of, well, technically two, but really one more out of the Constructicons. The other one that I say that I don't really need is Rampage, which is the other one of Skipjack. But the other one is... I keep wanting to say Payload, but I don't think it's Payload. Payload is from the first one. Um... Long Haul, I believe it is. Because Payload was the yellow, Long Haul was the green one. Which technically you can get another yellow Long Haul and turn him into a yellow. And there you go, you got Payload. But other than that, pretty much gonna be it. All in all, I actually like this figure. Especially with how you can have him look like he has a tail. A little shield or forearm piece. Now, the only thing that I don't like really is the eyes. You cannot really see the eyes. And last but not least, I had also forgot that these do come with a backdrop. I forgot to do it with a skipjack last time. So, in order to do it, I'm gonna have to readjust this real quick. Let's go ahead and open up the box, get it out real quick. Dang, this one's kind of hard. There we go. So, here we go with the backdrop. We're gonna have to put that back like it needs to. And... There we go. There goes the backdrop for him. Which is just a Sino Studio Series 41, Transformers Authentic. Well, not Authentic, that one says Generations, it does say Revenge of the Fallen right there, and then Transformers, and then Devastator's Emblem again. So, with that being said, I know I'm only missing one technically, which is Payload? Not Payload. Uh, long Haul. 
And then the other one, technically, if you really want to get technical, is Rampage. But them two are still going to be rather hard to find. And I noticed that they do have on Big Bad Toy Store all eight pieces of Devastator and one big old set for I think 200 something which is not really a bad price so with that being said it might be better if you wanna get all the pieces to make Devastator it might be best just to get the uh, to get the box set which comes with all of them and more or less up-to-date painting like apps more detail in the paint so with that being said this is guff this was scrap metal we'll see you next time hope you guys have a good morning good afternoon good night whichever one of them three is going on for you right now talk to you guys later Peace. And you guys, I did forget one last thing. The uh, way to put him into the combination for Devastator is actually rather simple if you already have him in vehicle mode. Take the back panel off real quick. Like I said before, mine's always kind of tricky to get off. There we go. You don't need that right off the back. It goes on the knee. I believe it's the left knee of Devastator. Just a little spot there. But what you're going to do, unhinge that. Bring the hand out. And then bring it up and around like so. Then turn it around. Like so. Same thing with this arm, bring it out and up, turn it around, like so. Then bring that hand on out, like so. And then you're gonna wanna bring that spot out. But what I'm gonna do, I forgot, you're gonna wanna turn this spot around like so. And bring that around again. So you got like these three finger like things and then right here in the cranny nook of the crane part you're gonna wanna grab this out bring it out so that way when you connect it to high tower it's gonna be like a little sliding in part where it's gonna be like that but there we go it's that simple really like I said you don't need this when you combine with the other part for the arm this part goes to the knee so with that being said guys have a good night good day good morning take it easy